what's the word I could use on this? That's not being very no, I'm <laughs> I'm actually I'm actually saying this because I'm gonna go, I'm not being fair. I'm not, I'm literally not being fair to the whole thing. The reason that I'm saying I'm not being fair on it is because I know what the second part of the story is. And the lie is worse than what the first story is. So before I even let things and Anna get into it, let's go ahead and get into the second part of the story. I made this post a couple months back and I wanted to share what's been going on. This was a really big mess and thank you for all your reassurance, for telling me that Kara deserved to know the truth. There was still some guilt I carried with me for days until she called me again now that she had time to process. Kara thanked me for being honest about what happened, and we had a deep conversation about what she's going through. She and her mom always had a very strained relationship, even until she passed away, so there was still a lot of anger and resentment she never got to have closure for. Now learning this new lie her mom told her about me, well, it opened a lot of other mixed feelings. She has been in therapy even before her mother died to deal with their issues, so Kara is working this out with someone, which I am happy to know. Many of you were suggesting therapy for her, so at least she already had that down. My daughter is still mad at her family. She talked to them a couple of times before stopping communication. Kara knows she'll forgive them eventually. But for right now, she says she wants them to live with the consequences, so hasn't had any contact with them. I did express my concern over her shutting them out, but she says it's not forever. She's still trying to process this betrayal and get to a place where she'll accept them back into her life. At the moment, she's still living with her friend and wants to keep it that way. So far, she's declined any financial help I offer. She just wants to work out her anger and let them sit with this a while. I had to do some blocking still for my own peace of mind. Things are a working progress, but I'm happy to report that we're getting along fine. Kara's been over so many times and has met my fiance. We're learning so much about each other, even if sometimes it's hard not to get emotional over childhood memories she talks about knowing I couldn't be there for them. Still in the process of finding a therapist myself because this has been pretty heavy on me too and still have no idea what the hell I'm doing as a parent. Thanks for your words of encouragement and all the advice from fellow parents. I kept getting asked for an update on this so sorry it took me a while to remember to post something. Let me go ahead and read this message out first. So her mother lied to her, and they think the solution is for the dad to lie. That's a no. Also, hey, LL. Now, I'm going to mute myself because unlike this, I'm not going to sit there and put in snippets of words between somebody's speech. I'm going to or talk, not speech, or talk. I'm going to mute myself because I'm a gentleman. I'm not saying Theus is not a gentleman. I'm saying Theus is not a gentleman. Yes, Marlon, you're better than me. So, <clears throat> so you have that on recording, everybody. Marlon's better than me. Um, so he doesn't mean that at all. So you just did it. Boom! All right. So <laughs> now that we're almost equal, but I mean, I know I'm worse. But the the thing is. Um, and much of what you were you were sharing, Marlon, this I'm not even going about the lie per se, right? Because I personally feel that a lot of times we use, um, well, I'm not going to lie, as kind of a deflection point. We use it our, at our leisure. We use it based on when it when it best serves us. Because I have yet to meet a person who doesn't harbor certain lies. I, I'm very big on personal integrity. I can't stand when people lie, but I can't sit here with a straight face and say that I don't have lies that I have locked away in my closet, right? So we do this situationally. So let's let's cut the the hoo ha with just gonna tell the truth. We try our best, but we don't always. And often, sometimes we don't tell the truth 
for the exact purpose of sparing someone's feelings or not making a situation worse with extra detail that may just, you know, it's like kerosene on a fire, right? The fire's already burning. Um, does that make it right? Maybe, maybe not. Personally, I think the whole concept of right and wrong is also a sliding scale as well, because um, that's a very situation. So this for me was like people hurting people, right? Um, the mother, first of all, I'm gonna use these as like timestamps too. The mother in the beginning, y'all had a discussion and agreed on an abortion. And you also broke up. In that time frame, she changed her mind, decided she wanted to keep the baby. She's wrong for not reaching back out to him and letting him know, I've changed my mind and I'm keeping the baby. And then he can come up with whatever argument or discussion they have would have been had. But she chose a coward's way out there and deprived him of the opportunity to speak up. Seriously, I get that. But her deciding not to have the abortion, she's not obligated to have the abortion just because she said that's what she wanted. She changed her mind. She could have changed her mind three, four, five times. It still would have been on her. Now, it would have positive or negative impacts on the father which is a different thing to debate. But the fact is, yeah, when y'all broke company, she said they were going to have an abortion. She changed her mind that she had the baby because she didn't go to you. She just created a story to X all that out. So it wouldn't splash back on you. You wouldn't end up with child support. You wouldn't end up with all this other stuff. She's just going to raise a baby on her own. There you go. And she created a story. She, from what I've heard from like stories and things like that, she could have either done what she did or she could have claimed you were dead, right? So whatever, that was wrong. 